What is going on, G2? What is your boy Mix here? And we are live here in Mexico City as the Armadillos are going to be hosting the Orlando Orbix, man. Let's get down to the field here as we will have a nice matchup here, man. We got a few UDFAs on Orlando, Seth Brewer, Eric Brewer, and we also have Elias Swan and Carlos Poppy. And then the Armadillos are a AI team here. Both of these teams at three or two in their respective divisions. Orlando representing the NGC South, that's National Gridiron Conference, and the Armadillos representing the GGC South. That's going to be the Global Gridiron Conference, man. So two Southern teams on opposite sides of the spectrum. We got Orlando and Mexico City. Going down this evening here on Friday night. Likes, man, get ready to take flight with us here in the G2. Appreciate you guys coming through as we got David in that helmet. He requested it, man. <laughs> this is my first time actually seeing that helmet on the stream, man. That's going to be the UDFA putter. I think it's Jack Brown. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, man, or James Brown, John Brown, one of those, one of those Browns, man. Anyway, man, he decided he wanted to wear that. So we would, or David, I'm sorry, Jack David or John David, whatever it is. Uh, but <laughs> that is a crazy helmet right there. Big salute to the guys in the chat right now, man. We got Devin Taylor, Billionaire Vibes, Seth Brewer, Pharaoh Raids, man. And I'm pretty sure boys guys will uh, filter through. We'll see Drew Brewer here as well, man. Uh, let's go ahead and jump down to the game here, man. 3 and 2 Orlando Orbits and the 3 and 2 Mexico City Arbitillos, man. All right, get the laughs out of there, Devin Taylor. Go ahead and get him out. We got to get serious, man. Jump down the field. And see this uh, ridiculous helmet. <laughs> All right, here we go. That'll be a high kick there by David going back the other way. On Matillos, we feel this at the one yard line. And it's a nice run inside to the 30 yard line as the kick returned. Ice there. Going to get the crowd excited here. Mexico City Armadillos powered by. Ethan Neal, look at the numbers on this guy, man. 1,500 passing yards, 13, 13 touchdowns for Mr. Neal. It's a very competitive league here, as Arius Hobbs is telling us the other day. We got a lot of guys on the stack column. It's a generic. Passing the ball here on first down. It'll be a four yard gain on the play. He's gonna find Carter. And Neil will go back under center. See, will back formation here. Neil gonna launch one down the field. Uh oh, and that great defense. Great defense there by Shelton Graham. Cornerback here, making a nice deflection on the ball. Neil trying to go for the gusto there to start the game. See, two burn track. Let's go, Orbits. Neil in the pocket, under pressure, gonna throw, and that is almost gonna be a snatchy. As Dylan Banks, the middle linebacker, could not get his hands on the ball. And I saw some pressure there from Orlando. Wow. So they've been they've been talking about the pressure, man. We've been seeing the rumors and everything, wondering why the Brewer brothers, man, the Brew crew, have not been able to get much penetration in the last couple of weeks. They've been making some adjustments here in Orlando, and that was a good defensive series to start there for Orlando, as we will get a chance to see Mr. Elias Swan. UDFA QD coming out onto the field. Look at the numbers on him. 1,350, nine touchdowns and three interceptions for Elias Swan here. Sitting at three and two, trying to improve the four and two. He'll have his first drive from the 30 here. Three wide outs. Hand the ball inside. And we'll get to the 35 yard line. We are still looking at Michael Drayton here. Look at this, 27 carries, 116 yards. He has been a solid backup here. They are out without their feature halfback for a couple more weeks here in Titus Casey. Have to change that this whole offense when you see Casey get back into the swing of things here in Orlando. Second and five for the 35 yard line. We'll hand it off inside and you just can't take anything away from this guy though. Drayton, man, he's definitely been a, big, a good backup, a good fill-in player here. Uh, they just know that, you know, Titus Casey with a little bit more, a little bit more punch here at feature back, but nothing taken away from Michael Drayton at all here this season. It's a good catch there, and the catch will be made. First down, 41 yard line. That'll be Pierre. Deontay Pierre, the tight end, getting that target there and moving the chains for Orlando. For the 41, Swan under center. I'm a 
Dillos. They had a lot of guys on the line there, but Drayton's still going to make four yards out of that one. Good blocking there by the offensive line. Four down linemen, some pressure on the outside. They'll send four. No, five. Under pressure, it's one. Going to be chopped down back at the 31-yard line as Bowman is going to get to him on the play there. Brendan Bowman, the left outside linebacker, drops back into like a zone for a moment and then just dives down, man. Great job there. Coming off the edge. As soon as he saw Swan rolling out there to the left there, he just got right to him. Great job by Bowman there. Third and 19 from the 31-yard line. Swan made an adjustment. Has a man over the middle of the field. Can he see him? Going to throw with a dime throw in the 38 yard line. You see, we'll make the connection there with Devontae Jones down the field. Armstrong was in coverage there, and I saw Jones coming over the middle of the field and just come, come makes a little bit of a curl route there. A little bit of a hook there, turns right around. And Elias Swan going to find him. That's a great pass and a catch there by Swan as he'll be at the 38 yard line. Here's Swan in the pocket. On the throw underneath. Catch going to be made. It'll be to Deontay Pierre again as they move to the 32 yard line. A six yard gain on the play. They run it downhill. Cuts it up sealed. And Trayton will have the first down. Nice piece of running there by Trayton. Good ball carrier vision. And again, you know, the guy that just love the blocks. A good drive here by Orlando to start the game. Swan, good throw. Connects underneath. And that'll be the 20 yard line as he'll find Dexter Randall on the play. Eight yard gain. Here he is from the 20. We'll hand off inside. Good run. Drayton to the five. And finally will be tackled. Good piece of running there by Michael Drayton. And it's just downhill for Orlando right now. Five yards out. They'll go with the I formation on Rodello's with everybody on the line. They'll toss it to the outside. Cuts it in. Fighting and close to a touchdown there. That'll be a new back in the backfield. Garvin. Knocking on the door here from the one. Swan going to hand it off. No, look at the pass. Has time, unloads in zone, and that'll be deflected. So a good pass deflection there by Bradley Davis, the strong safety. And Swan will go back to the one here. Drayton in the backfield. He's going to pass. End zone, touch down Orlando. Philip Justice. Handed in the touchdown there, and that is a beautiful drive by Orlando here on the road, going right down the field on their first drive. They connect here in the end zone. Swan, man, this has really been, you know, truly a truly great leader here for Orlando. They've had their struggles here, obviously a three and two team, and a couple of their games are kind of, you know, questionable. But you know, really have uh, liked the uh, QB play here of Swan. As he is barely really starting to fit into the system here, mature into the system. That's a 13 play drive right there, 69 yards. Talked to his teammates, man. They all rallied behind him here. They even, you know, got in the locker room this previous week and wanted to just adjust some things to make him a little bit more comfortable. And I'd have to say, man, whatever adjustment they made for now, it seems like uh, that really has helped out Swan an awful lot here. Just can't, you know, can't imagine what's going to happen when they get Titus Casey the halfback uh, you go know, back with this team, man, and what that's going to mean for the offense here. Got a lot of weapons they're able to utilize here, and then the defense as well. They're making some adjustments, too. We'll see uh, if the Brewer brothers can get back here and make Ethan Neal uncomfortable. Three yard gain there. That's a manual downs there. Look at him, numbers on him. And this back, uh, something serious here. 101 on the ground last week, two touchdowns. Uh, he could definitely, uh, you know, run the ball. Great uh, halfback. He'll be looking to have a big day as well. Second and six here from the 27. Hands it off. Cuts it to the outside. Juke move. And will be tackled there. He picks up two on the play before Dylan Banks, the middle linebacker, 
will get to him there. And now Ethan Neal will be in the pistol formation from the 29. But a quick pass in, in the traffic, and that's a dot thrown for an armadillo first down. As he'll find Alex Tompkins, the wide receiver there. That's what's, what's so nice about the pistol. You know, you put pressure on the left and right side of the defensive line. They don't really know where you're going. He just stands right up and makes a nice pass with a quick slant in there for Tompkins. Quick, quick, quick offense here in the pistol. They'll run it there and uh, no gain on the play as the defense will get to him. That'll be Banks again coming down and still mating that run play there. Second and 10. And the throw. And that's a dime thrown for another Armadillo first down. They'll get to the 48 yard line and we got a new wide receiver checking in. That'll be Dawkins. So Javier Dawkins with the catch. That was a great pass there by Neal. They run it inside. Decent run there for Downs as he will finally be taken down to the 43 yard line. A five yard carry on the play. And Armadillo's now across midfield. Looking pretty good so far. Neal takes a snap. We'll hand it off again. Down with a pretty lane. He gets inside smoothly to the 34 yard line. Five counts, 21 yards for Emmanuel Downs. Close to halfback. Doing a great job so far. Still go back here. They're going to send the man in motion. More crown and pound. Downs. Cuts it in. Uh oh, it's got some lane. Real estate. Five touchdown armadillos. Oh boy. Emmanuel Downs. Getting into the end zone there. In Mexico City. Putting on a touchdown to themselves here. And look at that. Going to wipe them down on that one. Oh, that's just great blocking right there. And you can see the ball carrying vision of Emmanuel Downs. I and mean, he was just off to the races. No way he was going to be caught right there. Dwayne Smith, free safety, diving, trying to get him there. But, well, he was gone there. Great job here by Mexico City. It looks like we got us a competitive game going down already here in the G2. Week six, man. Let's kick this up. And the kick is good. Eight plays, 78 yards, three minutes and 49 seconds left. If you like the action that you are seeing, hey, you can smash that like button for us here. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss whenever we go live. Appreciate you guys for coming through and enjoying Friday Night Lights with us. Swan going to hand the ball off. Trayton will be greeted. Two yard gain on the play. Swan throws. Oh man, incomplete pass there. Trying to target Dexter Randall and could not make the connection. Now a third made as the crowd gets louder here in Mexico City. Swan in the pocket. Going to unload down the field, has a target, and it's going to be a catch made by Philip Justice, another catcher. And they penetrate the deep part of the field, cross over down to the 41-yard line. That was a beautiful catch there by Justice. Great vision. Now over the end of the first quarter, guys, put your twos up in the chat. Put the twos up, guys, in the chat. Swan gonna throw in off the mark there. It covers Angelo Matillos. They are making a lot of noise here in Mexico City. A lot of people came out to this game. Run there by Drayton. And every time they get loud like that, you start to see, you start to see Swan kind of even make some adjustments here or they're running the ball. Third and eight now. The 38. Here's Swan in the pocket. Under pressure, and they're going to chop him down here. But the 12th man is hunting them, and so is Bowman right now. They get another chop on Elias Swan. Brendan Bowman 
Just rushing him down. Got a little bit of help there as well. Just disengages off of that block. High kick going the other way, and that'll be a nice punt down to the 13-yard line. The numbers on Emmanuel Downs, 97 carries, 421 yards, and seven touchdowns for him. Also got a touchdown in this game. Single back for the 13, they'll run Downs. Four-yard pickup on the play. Already the 59 yards in this game. He still got an entire quarter left to play. They'll run it inside. Gets greeted there on the outside and stopped. Don't bring up third and four. Neal gonna throw, has a man. First down on the pillows. It'll be Alex Tompkins checking back in here. His second reception on the evening. Celebrates there. Handoff. Yard gain on the play. That'll be the backup, Tony Yankee. Tyreek Yankee, my apologies. Second and seven for the 28. Gonna roll out. Throws down the field. In stride as a man. And that is gonna be a big Armageddon's first down as he's gonna find Emmanuel Downs. Gotta love a halfback that can receive. He just absolutely gets the burners there. On Screech of Perham, the right outside linebacker who was supposed to be in coverage. That's just asking a lot of your right outside linebacker. The man up a halfback out of the backfield there. That win goes all the way to downs here in the Armadillos for the 46. Running inside, it's a good lane. That'll be another first down. And man with downs quickly getting to work. Here in the early stages of the games. Again, he's gonna move the chains again. This time to the 35 yard line. Good block there by Downs. Throws. And that is gonna be broken up by Shelton Graham. Great block there by Emmanuel Downs to spring Neal, but just couldn't complete that pass down the field. Here he is with the 35. Neal going to throw underneath. Catch going to be made. Third and six from the 31. Here's Neal. Steps up. Throws. And that is going to be incomplete. Some tight coverage down the field. And that will bring up fourth and six. This will be about a 48-yard attempt. That kick is up. Does he have it? And he does here. Mexico City going to put on three. As Hyde nails that one. Ten to seven. 6.49 left to go in the second. He's return back to the 25-yard line. We get a chance to look at Elias Swan coming back out onto the field. Had a remarkable drive this last time around. Out in there for a touchdown. Now they'll spread him out. Empty backfield. Here is Swan under pressure. Going to throw down the field. Has a man. And the catch not going to be made. The defense too strong there. Trying to go to Drayton, but that ball going to be Broken up there by the cornerback, Taj Armstrong, on the plate. Good coverage there. Swan drops back. And throw underneath. Has a connection this time. It'll be a first down and then some as it gets across the 40 to the 43-yard line. That reception going to be made there by Devontae Jones. His second reception now, 49 yards. Clock still running for Orlando from the 43. 
Juan going to run the ball inside in be a, the 47 yard line. Nice handoff there to Drayton, the four yard gain on the play. Swan throws in, has a connection made, but it's going to be third inches justice. But a nice reception there. Good call from Swan. And hand this off to Drayton inside, first down to the 45 yard line. Orlando going to move the sticks here. They get across midfield, obviously, in five minutes they're working with. Nice pace offense right now for Orlando. Swan looking to unload, throws in. That connection is not going to be made over the middle of the field despite a great ball thrown. You got to credit the defense there. That will be Gabe Wayne, the strong safety, coming down with the hit. Elias bouncing outside. Going to throw on the run. Has a man, and that will be a connection made to the 30. Eight yard line as he finds Dexter Randall there. Another reception for him. Coach the four minute drill, 32, empty backfield for Swan. He's been good here on third down. Gonna throw a quick one underneath. Catch made this time, and that'll be a first down as he will find Pierman, the tight end on the play here. But Evan Pierman with the reception moves the chains. It's starting to be a nice drive here by Orlando. Good clock management right now. Just Doing a good job of moving the sticks here. Swan in the pocket with a throw underneath, and that will stop the clock as it's an incomplete. Could not catch Drayton with that one. From the 30 now, second and 10. Swan fakes the handoff inside, throws, unloads, one on one catch. Not going to be made. He couldn't hold on to it. Good defense there by Miles Moon, the free safety. 50-50 ball, no good. Swan being very aggressive. Here he is here for the 30. Steps up, under pressure. We're gonna throw the ball away to avoid the sack. Now to bring up fourth and 10. Forty-seven yard attempt. That kick is up. And that kick is good. So a nice kick there. Put on three for Orlando. We got us a tie ball game here with 317 left to go. We got 15 people here, man. Salute to you guys, 15 viewers. Hey, check in right now, man. Let me see who's here in the chat right now, man. Go ahead. I want you to put in Friday night. Oh, put in FNL. Hashtag FNL in the chat right now, man. Appreciate you guys for coming through. Hashtag FNL, Friday Night Lights. Neil going to hand it off. Manual downs, powering through. Four yard gain on the play. He's already up to 76 yards now. From the 26. Here's Neil going to throw. Catch made, and that'll be a reception to the 35 yard line. <laughs> I really love when I call how many people in men's always a, a few people to drop right off man like <laughs> it's so funny when that happens man <laughs> everybody's watching you know it man. but 38 here oh man I don't know what the RNL is Lito <laughs> two minute warning <laughs> oh man Second and seven. Here's Neil. The throw. That'll be incomplete there. Couldn't get the screen off. The 38. In the pocket. Throws. Oh, screen is good. Good block. Wow. What a mean block. But he's not going to get the first down. That was a crazy block on the outside there. All right, going to go ahead and close that thing there, man. Go ahead and put this up here. This will mark the end of that. Everybody to put FNL in the chat. It's going to be another 100 G bars for you guys there, man. So, uh, no, maybe a Devin's in the chat right now. Devin, you can maybe screenshot all those FNLs for me in and post that 
into the G2 bank. We'll get uh, Darius to pay those out when he gets a chance. Appreciate you guys coming through and staying active. <laughs> Pass underneath. 139 to go here in the half. One connection made to the 28 here. Now it's a third and two. A lot of time being burned off by Orlando. Probably just concerned with moving the sticks here, not giving the ball back too soon. Here's Swan. Throws that ball away, and that's going to be 14 seconds on the clock. So at the least, Mexico City going to get a uh, punt return out of this here. Bring that to the 30. And we'll be hit at the 33. So we got six seconds left. Here's Ethan Neal. Time expiring. And he's going to be chopped back and that is how we are going to end the first half of things man guys put your halves up in the chat man we're going to go ahead and go to the halftime appreciate you guys for coming through Been a great game so far. How about a man with downs, man? He's looking quite impressive. Close to 100 yards in the first half of things. But Orlando, hey, they are still out of the trail here. So we got us a deadlock game here. 10 10. Orlando going to get this ball back. If you are new here to the G2, greatest good iron. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe so you don't miss whenever we go live. And hey, get down with our movement here. We are live pretty much every day here on YouTube. Most of the uh, games uh, are premier games, but we do have at least five, four or five live games that are called pretty much daily, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, some Thursdays and Fridays as well. And then we come back uh, su uh, Sunday, Saturdays as well, man. So actually more like five to six games uh, that we call live pretty much. We appreciate you uh, coming through and supporting the channel. Take flight with us here. Can't stop greatness. Self-made. G2. Here's Swan. I think at the 35. Under pressure, it's a football in the Armadillos have it. Oh my, that is a major turnover there. And look at this, just kind of held on too long and then going to get stripped there. Strip sack, I guess you could say. That'll be on uh, Orlando Kirkland, going to be credited with that one. And quickly, the Armadillos are going to take over. Start of this half here. Single back. Rolling out, gonna throw one, and that is an incomplete pass. Good coverage there by Orlando. Rolling out, another good block, connection made, first down to the three. 
And that'll be Alex Tompkins with his fourth reception in this game. Shelton Graham in the tackle. They'll run inside. Touchdown, Armadillos. Emmanuel Downs into the end zone again here for the Armadillos. And they are not stopping as well. Both of these teams, man, in quite a slugfest right now. Two Southern teams in their respective conferences, national versus the global. Three and two. This is just a perfect setting here. Friday night in Mexico City, Orlando, both of these tourist spots. And they're flexing their steel here. Kick is up, and the kick is good. Three plays, 14 yards. They capitalize off of the fumble by quarterback Elias Swan, and they turn that into seven. Could be very well the play of the game if this game stays this close. We will find out. It's that to the 22-yard line. That return going to be by Dexter Randall. And this is where Swan needs to respond. He cannot afford to have a key out. He's got to get a good drive down the field and help Orlando put on some points. They're going to pass on first down. Swan taking all day and finally going to get rid of that ball. Oh, man, he was waiting on an a order. <laughs> finally just throws it away. Okay. Good job getting rid of that and not taking a sack here. Second and ten. Good run. Picks up five. Make it third and five now for the 27-yard line. Here's Swan in the pocket. Throws. And that'll be a catch made. Holds on to it this time. Justice making a great catch in traffic there. Working against Gabe Wayne. Strong safety. That's a nice delivery. From the 37. He gets to the 38, second and nine. Swan got a load and gonna be chopped down back at the 26 yard line. That'll be Jerome Woodley, the defensive tackle, getting in there. Mexico City now with four sacks here on Elias Swan. And I'll tell you right now, I don't think that Elias Swan could take too many more sacks in this game before he starts to get rattled. And this old line, they got to do a good job. They got to do a better job here protecting Elias Swan. Can't just keep taking shots like that. So third and 21. Eight minutes left to go here in the third quarter. And they'll put him in the empty set. A sin four. Swan under pressure again, and that's going to be five sacks, another fumble, but this time Swan is going to recover his own fumble there. And he's clearly frustrated right now with his offensive line. Orlando Kirkland has been absolutely hunting Elias Swan right now. Just got to love the awareness there of Elias to recover that fumble after taking such a big hit. Back-to-back -back sacks there. Fourth and 35. Gonna give Mexico City excellent field position because that's gonna be fair caught at the 46 yard line. And we'll get a chance to see Manuel Downs and Ethan Neal come back out onto the field. We're gonna put on another score here in the third. Running inside. Downs, elusive. Nice juke, man, because he cuts it back in. He's up to 90 yards on. 12 carries. Holiday making a nice tackle in the 44. We still have not seen that pressure that we're expecting from the group crew. Good run, big hit on the end of that one. It'll be Banks again, the middle linebacker. Four yard game though for Downs. Ground and pound, ground and pound. Holiday comes on out on the outside, but can't stop the first down there. Ran right toward Will Holiday. Will Holiday, that's a strong safety. He's got to get down a lot faster than that and make a quicker tackle. 
Ooh, back this time. He's going to get some nice yardage just if he gets to the 28. That'll be Yankees' second catch. Kyrie Yankee to have that. Here is Neal for the throw. Catch made, and it's a first down. Armadillo's moving with ease right now. Targeting the halfback Yankee that time in the passing game. Neal under center. A run downhill with Downs. Uh oh, big lane inside touch. Down Armadillo's. And just like that, they're back in the end zone. Emmanuel down for the beautiful run. Just called it, man. Downhill is so easy. You get the wide receivers blocking. On the outside, you just got to credit the wide receivers there. I was actually Alfonso Dalton and Alex Tompkins, man. They threw some incredible blocks there on the outside. And Emmanuel Downs, just that speed and explosiveness, he just gets right into the end zone. And just like that, man, this is a 14 point lead here for Mexico City. Got 428 left to go in the third. And Orlando absolutely needs to respond here. So this good return for 29 yards. And they got to respond before the end of this quarter and all you hate to see that that looks like a hammy just gonna go to the sideline maybe it's a cramp that'll be tight in Bruce Ward Swan good pass five yard gain on the play Swan going to unload and throws that ball away and takes the hit on the end of it. Taj Armstrong hunting on that one. Swan going to throw and miss. This is the mark on that one. Mexico City fans ecstatic about that defensive series there by their armadillos here at home. High punt going the other way. We field it, brought across the 20, and we'll be hit 22 yard line. So things starting to unravel a bit for Orlando. They definitely need to tighten up. It's down by two scores. Still have you know the rest of this quarter and the full quarter to play. Mexico City, though, they've looked hot. Another drive here could be absolutely devastating. That's a passing catch. To the 35 yard line. Only 18 passes here. And Ethan Mills connected 12 times, has 110 yards. He's got 24 points on the board. That's because of this ground game. It's just been impeccable for the Armadillos. There's the Brewer. And Eric Brewer getting there this time, but could not get the sack there. Second and 10. That's the pressure that they need. Running inside, Downs will quickly be greeted by Will Holiday coming down. Third and eight. Throws underneath, catch made, and the tackle will be made, but not before he picks up the first down. Cameron Robertson, the tight end, the 13 yard reception. That's his first catch of the game and they just find some catches and slip here a simple out route nobody over the top there linebacker in coverage that was actually uh spitzer Perham, the right outside linebacker must have been cheating inside there just gets beat off the break here from the 50 yard line first and 10. handed off good run by the backup Yankee gets to the 42. eight yard pickup on the play Neal launches one down the field. Snap cheese going the other way. Orlando has it. And that'll be Will Holiday. He, he's been used down, you know, around the line of scrimmage here, throwing blitzes, trying to stop the run. And he's going to get a nice gift wrapped in football. And Ethan Neal, he autographed that to him. Threw it right to him there. 
And Holiday said, no, sir, don't, don't touch that right there. That's a great takeaway by Orlando, and that's just what the doctor ordered here for Elias Swan. Now, can he go down the field and capitalize off of this one? 126 left to go here in the third. Good run. First down. Creighton taking that to the 49. If you ask me, Orlando does not have time for all these shenanigans right now. They got to get back to the line. They got to get moving. Establish this rhythm. Get a score here. Try to get a score before the end of the third. Be a lot for the momentum. Here's Swan. Going to throw. And that is an incomplete pass and almost intercepted. Trying to go to Deshaun Garvin there. Here's Swan. Going to throw underneath. Just checks it down. One connection made. It's a foot race, and he will get to the 24-yard line and doesn't go out of bounds, but gets solid yarders, and that is going to be the end of the third quarter as we are going to head to the fourth and final quarter here in the G2, man. 24 to 10. Orlando on the move, man. Can they get a quick score here to start? It's the G2, man. Follow us on social media. Instagram at Greatest Gridiron and Twitter at Take Flight G2. Here is Swan from the 24, gonna throw in that is an incomplete pass. Swan needs to slow down a bit. Slow down, let the play develop. Nobody's been sacked quite a bit, trying to get that football out there, but he also has to let the play develop as well. Here's Swan, gonna connect, connect right there, a four yard gain on the play. Gets that to the 20. Swan, a throw, catch made, first down, foot race, and touchdown Orlando. Devontae Jones into the end zone, and Orlando going to bring this to within one score, and this is the, the touchdown that they absolutely needed now. You know what I mean? It's been looking pretty bad here for the O, but they, but they get a win here. This is a small win in a major way right now, but this touchdown bringing us to within one. And now they got to rely on this defense. This defense needs to get a stop against Ethan Neal and Emmanuel Downs. Can they do this here? Plenty of time left in this game. We've seen a lot of great games this week so far. We had two OT games this week. And Wednesday night and Wednesday night, both of those games went to overtime. We've been, uh, boy, had a lot of close games in this three this week. We got another close one here. Full quarter left to play. And Matillo's going to bring this out to the 20. It's a good return. Gets that up to the 26 yard line. Here's Neal. Going to throw. Catch will be made. A four yard gain on the play as he gets to the 30. That'll bring up inches, so it's a big third down now. Big third down. And downs in the backfield. They're not going to run him, though. Neal going to launch one. Has a man, and oh, he missed him. Oh, wow, he missed him. He was wide open. Wide open, and he misses him there. And they'll punt this ball on fourth and inches, Orlando. Getting a break there on the inaccurate pass of Ethan Neal. Field at the 20, brought to the 25. Juke move going the wrong way. They'll mark him at the 25, though. And out will come Elias Swan with some newfound morale here in the second half. 10.04 left to go from the 25. And Swan going to be under center. He'll hand it off. 
That'll be Trayton. One yard gain on the play. He's got 64 yards on 14 carries. They'll put Swan in the offset now. He's got three up top and one down the bottom of the screen. Looking throws, catch made, and that'll be a first down. The 35 yard line as he finds Jones again. Devontae Jones having a nice night, getting a lot of targets in this game. Moves the chains here from the 35, Drayton inside, and he'll be greeted after only two picked up on the play. So keeping him a bit off balance here. Run pass, run pass. Back to the offset now, flipped. Wide receivers at the bottom of the screen. Here is Swan in the pocket, looking to unload and does. It's that to Drayton. Bring up third and two from the 43. Swan on low, snatching his the other way. Uh oh, and he will be tackled by Swan at the 39. Oh my. That is not the pass to throw. No idea why Swan targeted. And that interception there going to be a deflator there for Orlando. From the 39, under pressure, and he will be sacked at the 47. That'll be Jeff Perry, the left outside linebacker, getting back here. Boy, that, 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 that was just a terrible uh, pass. Terrible pass there by Elias Swan. And this defense now, coach had a talking to him. He said, hey, look, you guys got to go and get this ball back for us. And that's a good step there by Jeff Perry. Second and 19, making it a little bit more difficult on Ethan Neal here. Here he is from the 47-yard line. More pressure. Going to launch one down the field. And the catch is made. It's a done. Alex Tompkins. Going to celebrate on the sidelines, his fifth reception. And Neil was under pressure, but just stops that, that launches it. That is an absolute dime. And how about the footwork there by Alex Tompkins? Oh, man, working, working up against Allen Johnson, the cornerback there. And, man, that's a big give up there. Throws in it, so pitch down from Antilos. Mike Weaver, the tight end into the end zone. And it just absolutely turned up about 10 degrees here in Mexico City. As the Armadillo is going to capitalize off of the Snatchies. Dying pass there. Weaver with a great route over the middle of the field. And the Armadillos put on another touchdown. To make this a two-score game. Great job here. Wow, 30-17. to 17. This thing was... Getting close, man. Didn't kind of just got out of hand for a second. Got a little bit closer, and now, you know, 14 point lead for Armadillos. And 6.54 left here in the fourth quarter. That's a momentum killer right there. Then we turn back up to the 22 yard line. Well, you can just see the dismay, discontent, unrest here on. Orlando Orbitz. Gets inside, bounces out, and we'll get to the 26. Second and seven. Stacked wide receivers on the outside. One throws, has a man. Connection made, and it's going to be a catch and out of bounds as he's going to connect with Deontay Pierre to the 48. Orlando with the quick strike ability so you know this is not over just yet. They definitely need a quick strike here. 6.15 clock still winding down and I don't know about this here. This, this formation on the 48. And hand it off and Armadillo is a bump ball. And Orlando gets it back. Boy. Armadillo is pulling out all the stops right now. 
Orlando trying to hang on. Swan throws incomplete. <laughs> Thanks a little to Drew Brewer in the chat right now, man. <laughs> Not even crayons, is he? <laughs> One, catch me to the 30, 25, 24 yard line. They got to get back to the line of scrimmage though. 512 left. And here is Randall. <laughs> oh man, my, my football coach, man, you know, we were, we were playing uh, ball in high school, man. And he used to say, why are you guys walking back to the line of scrimmage after the play? You got some pros. And I tell you, man, he was always right, man. Why do pros just walk back to the line of scrimmage like they have enough time, man? This guy's got to hustle, man. Five minutes left here. <laughs> and these guys are just walking back to the line, and they gotta get back. Second and nine now, 440 left to go. And look at this here. For the 23. Here's Swan gonna throw. It's so touchdown, Orlando! What? <laughs> Who is this? Kirby Watkins with a Beautiful catch into the end zone. And that was a gamble there by Swan. That is an amazing catch. Look at this here. One-on-one, 50-50 ball. Watkins going to go up. Oh, boy, on his head. Oh, what a catch that was. What an amazing catch that was. Swan going to get some love there on the sidelines. Hey, you got a one-score game, guys. Told you Orlando has the big, they got a big strike ability. I've seen it. Single strike, been seven plays, 78 yards, and it's not safe. Mexico City with a lot of pressure on them right now. I'm going to go back to the old saying. You guys know what I'm going to say here, man. When you're winning, you're really losing, and when you're losing, you're really winning. Mexico City does not have any bit of a chance here to pull off the brakes. They got to keep going, as that's a nice return to the 33-yard line. They cannot afford to pump the brakes now. They have to keep going, keep mashing the gas. How about the total number of yards here? for Emmanuel down today, 124 on the ground, 130 all purpose here. And they're gonna put Neal back in the gun. But handed it off here to the backup. Dice took over, it's a bump ball and Orlando has it! Oh boy, oh! Orlando with the takeaway. This is unbelievable. Let's see this. Oh, it's Brewer. It's Eric Brewer getting the shot here. Oh, that's amazing. Let me get hashtag Eric in the chat right now, man, or Brew Crew. Eric or Brew Crew, whatever you want to put in the chat, man. Oh, my. That is a big hit there by Brewer putting it on his shoulder pads there. And Swan has the ball at the 33. Swan pump fakes in the pocket. Going to throw down the field. Oh, man, the catch made when he's out of bounds. It's like, calm down, calm down. <laughs> Gotta love it here, man. Gotta love it. Guys, put the flights up in the chat, too. Flights in the chat, please. <laughs> Here's Swan. Throws. Catch made up the sidelines. It's going to be Trayton. As he gets to the 27-yard line. Third and four. Third and four. Here's Swan. Looking to pass. Got to get rid of it. Unloads. Oh, he missed him wide open. How did he miss him? Are they going to go for it on fourth and four? They're going to kick the field goal. What are they going to do? And they're going to go for it. Oh, man. Four yards out. Four yards out. Swan passes. The catch is made. It's a first down. It's a first down. He caught it. Wow. What a catch that was there by Michael Drayton, the halfback. Clock still winding down from the 22. Here's Swan in the offset. Swan throws, has a catch made, and that'll be to the 21 yard line, a one yard game on the play. Sean Garvin with the catch. Second and nine for the 21. Swan, but then throw it to the outside. 36 here. He's just painting the edges of the field. Not trying to take any kind of chances right now. Third and six. He's under center as well. 
They'll run it inside, fighting, and it'll bring up fourth and one, and they gotta be thinking two minute warning. And then maybe they're gonna go for this thing again. Do they run or do they pass? That is the question. Oh, they're under center here. Fourth and one for the 13. Swan gonna hand it off. Oh, it's a first down. Oh, it's a first down. And Greg, Greg is gonna be injured. We gotta change that name there. <laughs> first and goal from the eight yard line. Don't call it a comeback. Orlando on the move. Eight yards out. 157 left to go. Swan under center. More grounded pound. They run to the outside. He'll be stopped. Second and goal from 10. Orlando, 10 yards out now. A two yard loss on the play. Swan in the offset, making some adjustments, looking on loads as a man. Oh my! <laughs> Almost had him. That was Evan Pyramid, man. And they are on third and goal from the 10. Swan in the pistol. Quick pass. Got to throw it under pressure. And he's going to be chopped down at the 19. And now it's going to be even much harder here. 19 yards out, fourth and goal. And that is just a mistake there by Elias Swan. You got to throw the ball away. Holding on it too long there. Allowing Broderick Sutton to hunt you down. You got to throw the ball away. He was outside of the hashtags as well. There's no need to take a nine-yard sack. They're going to go back to the pistol, stack wide receivers. Watch the middle of the field now. They got the safety low. They send them, throws, catch made, and the hit comes down, and that's going to be a turnover. Like the play call, but just wasn't deep enough there. And the armadillos are going to deny the Orlando orbits. Now, we got to look here for a second, because I do believe Orlando has all of their timeouts, so it is not over just yet here let's just look at this let's just look no they've got two timeouts left so oh boy this is gonna look pretty bad here this might be a wrap let's just see let's wait and see oh it's good run may will counts <laughs> oh my and the victory formation is here armadillos Milling this thing out now. That's the last time out that Orlando can call. What a game this was. What a game this was, man. But boy, boy, oh boy. How about Mexico City getting this thing done here, man? Gonna improve to four and two on the season. And Orlando gonna fall to three and three. I, I will say, man, I like what Orlando was doing. It just gotta, that gotta figure some things out, but Boy, what a competitive uh, matchup this was here in the G2 to end Friday night lights, man. Boy, what a game, what a game. Big salute to all you guys in the chat right now, man. Appreciate you for coming through. Orlando going to fall here 24-31 to 31 for the Mexico City Armadillos. They get it done. I'll show you guys the stats in just a moment. Boy, smash the like button, guys. What a game.
Are you looking for high quality simulation football action? Then look no further than the greatest gridiron. Our league consists of 32 relocated franchises from around the world. We are the World Games of Simulation Football, where teams from all over the globe will compete on the greatest of gridirons. Hone your skills as a player or a member of a franchise coaching staff. Compete yearly for our illustrious Global Bowl, awards, accolades, and bragging rights as you climb the ladder of success and greatness. Are you a pro or just an average Joe? The Greatest Gridiron is looking for dedicated and passionate people to help build a league that emphasizes on trust, loyalty, and respect. Look at you. What makes you so great? This is the Greatest Gridiron where you can't stop greatness. Take flight. Take flight. 